So this is my 1.6 HDI Peugeot Partner engine, uh, 2007, roughly about 105,000 uh, miles. And this video will really test do oil catch cans, and I have two in, in, in that video, uh, do they really increase uh, the crankcase pressure in diesel engines, particularly not petrol engines, in diesel engines? Do you need to be aware if you have an oil catch can, uh, if uh, you might end up with increased crankcase pressure and oil um, uh, getting out of the various um, seals? Uh, stay tuned. So what I'm, uh, I, I've tried really this before uh, and you can find this video here and this is a continuation and I'll definitely show you how that there is a difference between oil catch cans as well and uh, with, with, with various tests. So first to establish a baseline to see the crankcase, what is the crankcase pressure of this engine, with this particular engine without any of these oil catch cans. So now I'll remove uh, all the piping and then put the, uh, the uh, original um, um, AFE to the turbo. So now I've put the original and this is to establish a baseline um, of, of the pressure in this engine without any oil catch cans, without any restrictions. So this is the original uh, intake and um, to see how I'll measure this, I've got another video that will appear here uh, that uses uh, this uh, hooked up to the oil um, filler cap and then it's got a Bosch uh, uh, differential pressure sensor, DPF sensor up to I think two and a half or three, uh, three bars. So this will be hooked up to an Arduino and in that um, where I show you, it's always in the description of the video, you can find this video how you can, you can do your own and, and um, get the pressure of the engine. So this is how it looks like. Um, so from the oil filler cap, this uh, comes out a silicon tube, goes to the DPF uh, um, differential pressure sensor, DPF sensor, and then goes into the cabin where I've hooked it up to the Arduino and um, with a laptop I can, I can, I can measure uh, what the pressure is when the engine is running and this, is, uh, this will be under um, idle because the, the pressure of the engine is highest when it's under idle. Under load, the turbo spools and, and really draws this pressure out of the engine. Uh, the pressure gets negative. So the, the highest pressure uh, in the engine is actually on the idle. So I can now quickly run uh, this for, for a couple of minutes and actually measure what's the pressure with, with, with the original um, uh, setup. With this was the baseline uh, test and the um, pressure, the crankcase pressure in the engine was roughly about 1.66 millibars. So uh, next thing is to remove the original and just hook up this uh, cheap uh, Manhumel Provent uh, 200 oil catch can which is with, uh, with a metal filter inside, so only uh, that one. Okay, so I've uh, removed the original um, intake, so I replaced it with my oil catch can uh, intake, and it's only this Manhumo Proven 200 with a steel filter inside. This is just a cheap version of the Manhumo, so I'll run it again, and this just goes to the catch can and goes back uh, into the intake. So I'll run this with a single oil catch with this one, and just to see what uh, will this increase the pressure uh, inside, inside the crankcase. So with a cheap oil catch can version of the Manhulman Proven 200, it was roughly about the same plus minus only slightly because I spent a bit of time and I kind of got caught probably. So it's roughly about 1.6. So the others was 1.64. It's roughly about uh, the same. So the next thing, this is the the cheap version, but you can actually uh, with a with a steel. Um, let me actually show it. This is with a steel. Uh, version of the with the steel uh, version of the oil catch can. Uh, but next thing, 
um, if you want to really see how you can find uh, make uh, your own really efficient um, uh, Manhumel Proven 200, you can see this video here. Uh, basically, it's using um, the filter, and you can actually um, uh, stick it inside. And uh, let's see if this uh, makes uh, the restriction uh, any different. Let's see if this actually is more efficient than the, than the steel one. So with the original uh, Manhumeo filter, it was really uh, about the same 1.57, uh, 1.59, uh, didn't make really that much of a difference. So this is the, I think this is the higher, uh, ve not velocity, but higher, uh, not that, that restrictive, this 5001, uh, there is a slightly finer one that it will probably restrict a bit more so, um, but I don't really uh, have it. So next thing is to test it with, with, with this oil catch can. So I have uh, my reservations about that one. Let's see, so it's got a baffle. These are fairly restricted. There is a bronze filter, so it hits uh, the inside. So this is the in. It hits this um, plate here to create kind of turbulent air. And this is a bronze filter, apparently it's 50. Uh, microns. So this will create quite a bit of restriction. So let's see how much the pressure is with this one. And then if the pressure is quite high, I'll remove that one and then just leave it uh, without it just to see um, what the difference is. But first is with, with this bronze filter with the whole um, with the whole setup. Okay, so I've uh, connected the oil catch can. Everything's with two oil catch cans. Um, from the crankcase goes to this oil can for the Manhobo, cheap Manhobo. So the output of that goes to the input of this Mishimoto KK Moon, cheap kind of Mishimoto oil catch can. But if you want to see a comparison between this one and, and the original one, you can see it in that video. And um, the output goes in, into uh, the intake. So let's see if this actually catch can really creates a uh, pressure and um, with this KK Moon uh, oil catch can actually the, the pressure became 6.1 millibars so roughly about four times more than just with the man Hummel so this bronze filter is very likely or the whole setup I suspect the bronze filter adds to that so the next thing is to actually um, remove the bronze filter just leave it open so let me see if that uh, would change uh, the pressure. Okay, so I just remove the bronze filter uh, with this um, heating thing. Uh, let's see how um, this will fare, what, what, what the pressure is. So this will be a run without uh, this bronze filter. Let's see how uh, this will go. So without the bronze filter, uh, that filter of course, the pressure was 2.9 millibars, so only two times more, otherwise it was six point, so half, this really adds to half of the pressure. So because this uh, KK Moon or uh, Mishimoto catch can creates quite a substantial amount of pressure in the engine, and if one removes the bronze filter, it just basically holds um, uh, nothing really um, much else inside. So I decided to, uh, I looked quite a lot, quite a lot. I managed to find this um, oil catch can. It's fairly, fairly uh, cheap, actually rather cheap, with um, with a dipstick uh, here. So if I open that one, so 
so this, uh, I mean, nothing inside really. Um, but here it's got this baffle. Here it's got this baffle, and um, this is supposed to be out, and this is supposed to be in. <laughs> but uh, the Mishimoto one is the other way around. So uh, it comes from me in here, and uh, it comes from there. So um, this should be in, and this should be out. Or this in, this out, because this is a baffle. So if the oil uh, shouldn't really, if one this sloshes, uh, it wouldn't really go uh, inside there or kind of stop it to slosh, um, slosh inside. So what I'm also thinking of doing. So I'll now measure the uh, the car is still hot. I'll measure the crankcase uh, pressure with this baffle, and then what I'll do uh, and do that one. And then of course put a bit of a of this uh, steel scores to create uh, to create some sort of a filter when it comes down. Uh, so let's see how much this is with uh, this buffer without the scores. So it also did a bit of a modification for that um, catch can because I couldn't really, uh, <laughs> couldn't quite do, so um, couldn't quite, um, these, were, uh, the, these two are parallel like that, the other one was stretched like that, so I couldn't quite, there was not enough space for this, so if, um, maybe you can see, um, hopefully you can see, I've put a, a straight pipe there and then uh, a kink coming up so it's a bit um, it's a bit kind of this goes this goes down down to uh, that way and then goes into into the other catch can so let's see how much this is without this steel scores okay so uh, this new oil catch can uh, it's actually 2.0 uh, 2.08 or 2.1 so it's actually really close to the um, uh, original setup was the Mahono, which is pretty much the same. So that actually doesn't restrict um, as much as uh, that KK Moon or, or the Mishimoto one. So next thing is um, to put uh, the steel scores inside this small filter and see if this really creates uh, a, a lot of pressure. They managed to undo it with pliers. This uh, is rather, it's rather difficult to undo. Next thing is to put um, the steel scores inside and close it up. You have to quite push it not to stick out uh, a bit. That's actually quite good inside. Put the bottom part in. <laughs> Put the, the dipstick, otherwise it's a bit more difficult. And let's see how much uh, the pressure is with the steel scores. And with the steel scores, it's uh, 2.4, roughly about 2.4 millibars, so slightly. So it was 2.1 without the steel scores, 2.4 with these uh, little uh, steel scores. So I'm sure uh, you wonder what's the point of this all this uh, all this stuff. So here is here's my here are my conclusions at the end. So I have uh, the numbers for the different uh, with the millibars, the pressure, so I can kind of talk and uh, show the different things and, and it really give you my conclusion. So the baseline uh, where it is the original, it was original intake, no catch cans, nothing, was um, 1.55 millibars. So I went again through the Excel file, it's uh, roughly about 1.55 millibars. So this was really the the baseline with, with my engine on, on hot engine. With the Man Hummel um, oil catch can, with the steel uh, filter, this is the cheap uh, um, Manhomo Provent 200 oil catch can, it was roughly about 1.58 um, millibars. 
So this is not really that much different, 0.03, I mean, the, the, this DPF sensor doesn't really have that much resolution, it's 0.05, I would say it's roughly the same. So with this oil catch can, there is no difference. So then when I put the filter, the original filter, this LC5001X, in this cheap uh, body, and it makes really good um, seal around there, so the filter is the most important part, it really makes a good seal there. This was really roughly 1.54 millibars. So again, this one with the steel filter or with the original Manhumo, no difference whatsoever, not, not really any difference with the, with the baseline. So this KK Moon, uh, this is exactly the same uh, copy of the Mishimoto oil catch can. This is with the 50 uh, microns bronze filter uh, bronze filter there so this catch can let me close it up so this catch can was 6.2 millibars it was four times more the pressure with this with the bronze filter is compared to uh, the original uh, setup so it's four times more pressure in the crankcase so when I remove the filter the bronze filter, when I removed the bronze filter inside, so it's just a, it just a can, there was a buffer there and just two openings, this really dropped to, the pressure dropped to 2.85 uh, millibars. So just one point, almost less than two times than the original setup. So that, that actually was quite a substantial drop. But what's the point if you remove this bronze filter, I sincerely doubt this will filter oil. Then that, so these are the two together, the Manhumo and, and uh, this was the, the KK Moon or the Mishimoto. So then this generic universal oil catch can, I call it universal, it's got a baffle and not really, it's, it's not too bad. It's rather cheap actually, I have to say. So this was 2.1 millibars, uh, so it's only 0 0.9 above the baseline. So it's not really that much steel restrict, so it, it could be that the pipes are restricting that and the oil catch can do, don't really add that much. So when I put uh, um, these steel uh, scores uh, inside the, um, the baffle, this went to 2.4 millibars, so this the steel scores are roughly about 0 0.3 millibars to, to the 1.1. So this is about 1 millibar or 0 0.9 millibars above the baseline, so it's not really that much. So then in, next thing, um, the conclusion. What, what, what is the conclusion out of all this testing and, and, and stuff? So this one really increases crankcase pressure, uh, the bronze filter. Uh, this is with the bronze filter. Um, so this bronze filter, let me move this away. So this bronze filter really um, creates, uh, uh, increases the crankcase pressure in the engine from roughly about four times. I mean there is always, um, there is always some um, let me close that one. So there is always some trade-off between how efficient the catch can is and the crankcase pressure. If this is really efficient, the crankcase pressure will shoot. If this filter is really fine, it will actually coalesce oil and the oil will really filter oil very well, but the pressure will shoot up because it's just too restrictive. So there is a trade-off with that. So you cannot really have something that really filters oil, but it, 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 doesn't, inc it doesn't increase crankcase pressure. So Mishimoto actually noticed this that this bronze filter, they I think they um, tried on this huge 6.5 liter diesel uh, Cummins engine or Ford something 6.5 liter or 5.5 liter, I don't know, something big. And the engine there was, with, with this, the, the bronze filter, the engine there was throwing some miracles and was shutting down or something like that. So they noticed that this was really restrictive uh, for diesel engines. And what they did is they, they modified this, and here is a picture of that. They modified this oil catch can and they removed the bronze filter and they put basically um, some kind of a, like a steel scorers but a bit more sophisticated and removed uh, the baffle. So this is how it looks like. And uh, so this is roughly about the same as that one. Uh, I've, I've, the steel scorers actually have this um, 
this uh, at, at, at the top they have a a mesh kind of a slightly not that thick mesh so this buffer here the steel score is roughly about the same effect and what they show that the other one the modified one doesn't really uh, increase the pressure uh, that much well they didn't say pressure but it wasn't throwing the fork Cummins wasn't throwing uh, that much um, errors so for for diesel engines I mean for petrol engines that that probably be, be quite good um, but for diesel engines, I would use that one with steel scores. It's, it's not uh, the, the increase in pressure is not that great, and I don't really know if somebody can tell me what the reference values for the crankcase pressure of these engines are. Um, if somebody says, "Yeah, here you go. Here is a link. This can sustain 20 millibars without a problem. None of the oil, uh, the, the seals will blow, and oil will will come out uh, 20." So then I, I will definitely return to that one. It's not the problem. But I don't really know how much pressure these seals, oil seals, will, will sustain. So this is um, 6 millibars, let's say, 6-7 millibars. Um, that's quite a bit. I don't know if... Uh, I know the there is a valve on top of the manhole uh, and this opens at 50 millibars. So if the pressure is 50 millibars, this will, this will open straight away. It will let the air uh, outside here. It won't go anywhere. So the engine wouldn't blow. So this is 6 to 50 well. Could be that will be alright, but I'm not taking that risk. So I'll be using that that can. And this is it. This is my test. So not oil catch cans are made the same. I'm sure the uh, the Mishimoto the diesel one is actually quite good, but it's it's extremely expensive. So I suspect this one is extremely cheap with the steel scores it will do the same function. So I'll be doing some tests how efficient that steel is compared to the original Manhomo and, and, and with this oil catch can. So uh, you can subscribe and uh, I'll be doing that uh, fairly soon. So thank you very much indeed for watching. Hopefully that was useful. And um, subscribe. Let me know for any comments in the comment section or if you want some other tests. Yeah, I can, I can, I can probably do those. Uh, thank you very much indeed for watching.